Hi, this is Susan from Susan B Cards. Today I want to show you a card that I made that was uh, pretty popular on my Instagram and I thought I'd do a quick video on how to do this. I've done this technique quite a few times with lunar and solar pace, but this one is a little bit different because I really wanted to try to get the correct colors in the you know, each of the areas. I wanted the flowers to be pink and I wanted the centers to be yellow. And then I wanted everything else to be green just to make it simple. I wanna show you a few other cards that I made using this technique, but with these, it didn't matter which color went where. So you can see that I did the same type of technique with the paste and then I put um, archival ink on the folder and then embossed it. But I randomly put down colors on these. I have some videos on how I made these. Um, you can find those on my channel. Um, so that's the first one that I made. And then these are some other ones. This is a Sizzix folder. And I also randomly put colors down. This I made all blue. This one I also just put down some blue and green. And I think this is, yeah, this is just solar paste on black paper. And I have a video on this one where I just did a spotlight and um, cut this image out and then popped it up and framed it. And I might have a video on this one, I'm not sure, but you know, I'll, I'll try to link some of those. Otherwise, you could just look on my channel. You can see with all these, I just randomly put down colors and then embossed it. So I'll show you how I was able to put the colors down um, and it was actually pretty easy. Here's the embossing folder that I use. It's by Altenew called Farmhouse Florals 3D. I cut a piece of paper five and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to line this up and run this through. This is the image that I embossed. It's not real deep because I use the Sizzix Big Shot and usually with the Altenew embossing folders, they're not as thick as some of the other 3D embossing folders. I'm able to put it on number two for the adapter plate, the um, no bottom plate, the folder with the paper, and then a top plate, and then run it through. And it gives me a, a very embossed image. What I decided to do was do um, a light embossing. So it's not quite as detailed, but I can still see everything. Um, and that was number one on the adapter plate, uh, one of the silicon mats, and then the folder with the paper, and then a top plate. So this image isn't quite as deep, but all I wanna do is be able to see where things go. You can certainly make it deeper if you, know, you don't really know how to um, make a lighter image, and that's fine too, but I just thought since I'm using a flat foam blending tool, it'd be a lot easier to get um, into all the crevices. So um, that's what I did. So here are the colors of Lunar Paste that I'm using. This is Prom Queen, Love Struck, and the new Neon Mood Ring. You don't have to use all these pinks. You could just use one shade of pink. You can see a little bit of color variation, but it's not really enough to make it crucial. I just had all those and I just wanted to see what it would look like. And I also often like color variation. And for the green, I'm using solar paste, crocodile tears. And you'll remember that with solar paste, it's iridescent on white paper, but on black paper, the color shines through. So this is just a regular foam that I'm putting on and I use, I've used this quite a few times. You can see it's dyed pink. Um, but if you rinse them right after you use them, you don't really have any problem um, using them several times. I mean, this one is, is still soft. So I'm just using a palette knife to put a little bit of color on here. It's like frosting a cupcake. And if you frost, then you'll know it's kind of like a uh, crumb layer, they call it. Just a real thin layer of frosting. So I can see here, it's a little bit harder because I'm not sitting right over the image. But I can see where the flowers are. It's fine just to color in where the stamen are. I'll go back and deal with that later. Um, but I just want to color these. I'm 
I'm gonna try to stay within the flower, but if some gets into the green area, that's fine too. I mean, you can see here, I did intentionally pull out a little bit of color. I thought it gave it a little bit more interest and there's a little bit of green on some of my flowers. This one is Love Struck. You know, I haven't put, um, some people put the Saran Wrap over the tops just to keep them fresh. And I haven't done that with any of mine. And my, I've had several of these for eight months or so, and none of them have dried up. Maybe when you get closer to the bottom, it'd be a good idea. Just because a lot more air is in the jar. So I'm just randomly putting these colors down. buds. You don't want a super thick layer of this either. I'm going to move on to Mood Ring. This is one of the new colors. I'm just going to use a small amount of this. When you put um, the neon colors on black, they don't look as, I don't know if the word is neon-y, but they don't look as neon-y as they would on white. It would have gone a lot faster if I was able to put my head just right over the project. It really only takes a minute or so. So I'm gonna let that dry before I start working with the green because I don't want too much mixing of the colors. I'll show the new colors that I have. This one is called Tangent. It's orange. And this is the neon color called Yellow Jacket. And this one is called No Chill. It's a bluish color. And then on this project, I had already used the Mood Ring. I did a quick color swatch of um, the new neon colors. I have a few of them from the Lunar Pace. And this is on white mixed media paper. I use, I've been using the scrapbook.com mixed media paper pad. It's very, very heavyweight. I think they said it's 140 pounds. It says 400 GSM and it comes just regular A2 size which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's a regular uh, card panel. So I wanted to see the difference between white paper and black paper. White paper, black paper. You could see how much brighter it is on white paper. And all I did was take one of these sponge daubers and go across each of these papers. So if you want very bright colors, use white. If you want a little bit more subdued, I think this looks more like a sunset than use black. So the pink has dried. It's been about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And I'm going to go in and now do the background with the Crocodile Tears Solar Paste. So you can see this one is almost empty and the paste is still really pliable. So it's nice. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put some of this on here. I'm gonna use a piece of scrap paper just for easier cleanup. That way I could just throw this away. I just save old mail, old junk mail, and uh, use that. So for this, I'm just gonna go in the background and I like to do swirls. I'm trying to be a little bit careful when I get close to the flowers because I don't want to get too much green on it. I'm just using a little bit of paste at, at a time and then just going back and reloading it. You can see the green really shows up on the black. Kind of 
kind of doing swirls here, getting in there. Need a little bit more. As long as you clean up the paste on your mat right after you're done, it's pretty easy cleanup. You know, you just use some water on a towel and it'll pick up. But sometimes I forget and I don't really like scraping um, it off. It's just more of a hassle, it takes longer. So I just feel like just use some of the scrap paper that I have and then I could just toss it out. You know, it was originally bills or ads or whatever that come in the mail that I don't need. So I just try to get in a little bit closer here. I don't want too much buildup. And I do like the way it looks when you just kind of swirl rather than um, straight up and down or horizontal or vertically. Just gives a little bit of a dreamier look. So just trying to get into the, all these little areas. I'm trying to turn it just a little bit. You can also go back if you get too much green on here. I think you really want the pink area to stay pink. I, that's, you know, most of the focal point. But a little bit on there is fine. Just like a little bit of the pink is fine as well on the green. So I think that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect along these edges because you're going to use black archival ink to make it stand out anyway. Yeah, I just want a little bit more. I think in this area here, I put too much of that pink in the background, so I'm gonna try to just get in there a little bit, change the color. I'm gonna go and wash off all my tools because I'm done using them, and I'll be back. My panel's dry. You wanna be sure this panel is dry before you put it in the bossing folder. The paste will come off plastic, but why would you really want to spend any time trying to get it out of the crevices? I'm just sure that my um, paper is dry. So next, I'm just going to take some black soot archival ink, and I rub it over the image. Now, I don't put it all over the back of the folder just because... Um, there's no reason to waste the ink. You know, what you want to stand out is really this part. So, it's pretty well inked. And that's what I call the top of the folder. So what you need to do next is line up the paper. It'll kind of lock into place in the background. And then you can see it's right in the right place. So this time I ran it through my big shot on um, the regular platform number two and one plate on the top over the embossing folder. So now you can see the image a lot better. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this lunar paste, it's called Shooting Star. It's a bright yellow. You could also use gold if you have it. And for this, I'm just gonna use my finger.
You could also use one of those small um, blending brushes if you have it, but I think my finger's fine. And I just take a little bit and I'm gonna put it on some of these buds just to make them stand out a little bit more. So there you go. I think that little bit of yellow kind of brightens up the entire thing, especially the center of this flower makes it stand out. Also, I think um, if you don't want to cover this this um, area on the outside of all this embossed area, you just left it black, that would also make the image stand out. You wouldn't have to worry about trying to get the black ink in there. Some of the black ink is in there, but I think on my original one, I was a little bit less careful of getting the green um, solar paste all the way up to the edge. And I left some of the area, you know, a little bit more black. And either way, I think this one looks good too. And you can see how doing the background in that solar paste really makes this part of the image pop. Here's my finished panel. And I matted the card with gold shiny card stock and then put it on a top folding card. If you're interested in any of the products I use, I'll link them below my video and on my blog at susanbcards.blogspot.com. I'll have more photos of the cards that I made with the same technique and any other information you may be interested in. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time.